I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what this video should be about because half of my heart says tell you about the whole process and all of my feelings I had when I pulled out a lot of my hair last night. I want to tell you that I was mad at myself and I was so upset and I was grieving over the hair that I pulled out and I created myself a bald spot. Right. Where is it? Right here. I want to tell you all about it, but there's another part of me, my other part of my heart that says, don't whine about it. Don't tell them. Don't talk about it because it's just going to show them that you're just like everybody else and all you care about is your hair and this trichotillomania thing and and it's just going to consume you and you don't want to be that girl. You don't want to be that person who just talks about their hair all the time. I don't I don't know what to do. Like I want to tell you both sides. But they both contradict each other, you know? I want to show you that I'm vulnerable and I will tell you about my feelings. I want to tell you that it's hard. It's there's not a day goes by that this this disorder doesn't have a huge part of my life. It has a control over my life, but there's another part of me that thinks that no, it doesn't. It's just one little part of me. So I don't know. I think through this whole journey, there's always been two sides, you know? The side that wants to be brave and doesn't want to feel like a whiny ass person and it just wants to get up and say you know what I can do this and it's not gonna affect me but then the other side of my heart is like yeah Emma it does affect you it makes you sad it makes you mad at yourself it makes you feel like a freak but I can't choose both one side I can't do, I can't always feel sorry and sad but then I can't always hide from the world and tell everyone that I'm okay and that this this is an easy thing and then I it doesn't bother me because it does but if I combine the two and find a balance I'll be good because you need a little time to grieve and be sad over something that you did you need to be able to let it out and say like Emma, you pulled out your hair and made a bald spot. And it's just going to make you sad. But don't do it for too long. And listen to the other side. And say, well, you did it. There's no use crying over spilt milk. Now you have to live with what you did. And keep going forward because it's just hair. So yeah, I did. I did give myself a bald spot the other night. And I did feel sorry for myself, and I was angry that I pulled out my hair, but I moved on, and I didn't drown in my sadness. I am strong, and I can get through this. I may not be that kind of person who ever is going to stop pulling their hair, but I'm learning and growing, and I'm, I'm figuring it all out. Well, that's not true. I haven't figured it all out yet, but I'm just dealing with what I've got and what God's given me and what I've done to myself and everything. So, balance. That's a big part of this disorder is to balance. Find an, a medium that you can let your pain and anger out but also move on from it and grow and become stronger. So yes. My poor hair. Little bald spot, but it feels fuzzy. It feels fuzzy this morning because I feel as though maybe a little bit of it grew back. Not all of it, but a few little stubblets of hair growing back. I'm not perfect. 
and and just me. I don't deal with everything. But you're not alone. And everyone has slip ups. Everyone has bad times, so just wanted to share that, so if it's morning, good morning to you. And if it's night time, well, good night, sleep tight. And if it's brunch time, happy eating. But right now it's afternoon, so have a good afternoon. And Well, not afternoon, it's dinner time, but whatever. Have a good night and a good rest of your day. So this is just me sharing myself, my vulnerable side. And my kind of hard, bitchy sign, so. Whatever you can take from this video, I'm just glad you took something from it and watched it. And thank you for my 22 subscribers. You guys do mean a lot. I just want to help you. So. Bye.